Baby, just a sec. Hold on, I gotta run. No, it's cool, it's just a, a client. So sorry, we close at six. Oh, really? Shit. My name's Nalady Jackson, and I'm the writer and director of The Drop-In. I had written a script, and I had always in mind to make a, a kung fu film or a martial arts-driven film. I heard rumors the best braider in town works here. Is that you? Where'd you hear this? I had no idea how the hell I was going to pull off a fight scene. I had never done any action choreography. You sat down with me and I had already in my head, I thought, no, no problem. I know this is gonna work out well. In fact, I know who I'm gonna bring in to make this vision a reality. The pre element really helps so much. You can make decisions based on what you've seen and tried and tested. And it creates a common vocabulary exactly. that everybody on set understands, okay, this is what we're going for. You guys asked me for references. I kind of had an idea of how I wanted it to look and flow in my head. There was movies that I love. The Matrix is one of them. Um, I also brought The Grandmaster to you guys. That was, that was a big reference. I remember thinking to myself, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do all of that. Mm -hmm. Like, just shaking in my boots and- Oh, we thought that too. <laughs> <laughs> So, what do you want to do? I just want to get on with my life. Then I'm afraid you leave me no choice, my dear. One of the things that we as a team and as a group always are challenged with is who am I going to get to double mm -hmm. our performers? Because mm -hmm. this community, as you know, does not have a large it's selection. It's tough to so find another black woman. We, that's needed, do it. we needed to train you girls because yeah. it had to alleviate the stress of doubles. I can tell you that the first day we got in, we left and I was super excited to meet you guys. And then I collapsed on my couch for two hours going, oh my goodness, how the hell are we gonna do this? <laughs> because you guys that. wanted it so badly, oh. but you weren't there. Like you weren't ready to do it. And then we're gonna have a fight that looks like this with a foot and then like this and then some hair and then it's over. And I was like, but it's no. So I just sat there just like trying to figure out what we were gonna do. And then I remember calling Jay right after that going, Jay, I don't know what we're gonna do. It's gonna look great if Dennis and I do it. Can we get wigs? Like, what are we gonna do? Action! We had two months roughly to train you girls and you put in so much of your time to do it. When it was on, I was like, you're game, right? Yeah. Like, all the way, yeah. and you were. And then when I met you, that was like one of the things that had to be really clear from the beginning was how challenging it was gonna be. And I, I needed I to know that you were you like, no I didn't have it, I was, like, <laughs> oh, like, I was like, oh, I can do it. Like, I, I didn't think it would be like eight hours. Yeah. A day. <laughs> Three, four days a week for two months. Yeah. <laughs> Nor did I, initially. Yeah. We did boxing drills. Taekwondo. Taekwondo, Muay Thai drills, mm -hmm. Cali drills with them, which is a, a Filipino um, martial art. We're not just putting in moves for the sake of putting in moves. We didn't have you just high block and low block and high block and low block because we need to take up 30 seconds. It's because we're trying to get you from this point in the story to this point in the story. And once your dialogue stops, we're still continuing to tell the story that we were yeah. given inside of the fight. So you can still read and see what's happening there. By the time we get to the end, we've taken you on, the, on another piece of the narrative journey. It was really important for me to give our actresses 
that that kung fu feel even when they're doing their their training i wanted the stances right your poses right so that's what i had in my mind I'm like okay your hand was your hand was low I'm like no 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 get it up higher and i want that that intent the intent like you wanted to kill her and you wanted to survive i'm gonna step forward with this yes okay ready yeah and pirouette Remember how nervous I was about doing that? I was like, but what if I'll my tell you, pops? When you look at the when you look at the way the speed and oh, that pirouette when so you turn good. and you continue fighting, mm -hmm. it was the right decision. It's my favorite and move. <laughs> there was a million things going through my head. To have the stunt team tracking the quality of the fight and being there as a resource to be like, you know what, that's too tight or too weird or I'm not convinced by her, <laughs> her punch or whatever it is. I love that. I love the collaboration, and I think it only makes work stronger. We had three days to shoot the entire thing. Because of location limitations, they had to be overnights. How many times were we oh. yelling at you? Oh How many while chocolate we were filming bars were we so eating? So that the energy Snickers. level stayed up here. Back on your right? face. Back on your face. At three o'clock in the morning, yeah. the energy level still here. Yeah. That comes from you know you girls yeah. wanting it. The table smash, although you were gung-ho, I couldn't let you do it. Day did the table smash. That was a very dangerous stunt. We didn't want these guys to do it. Am I correct, that was your first stunt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. The training for it was like, I guess, uncomfortable because I didn't know what I was doing and Paul helped me through it. Like he warmed me up on the eight inches, and then we went down to like two inches, and then we went to the floor, <laughs> and I didn't feel anything, so I was like, oh, oh. Like I didn't even know when we started, when we finished. I was like, wait a minute, did I just do that? I just, I just went through this table. It seems that everything here was passion driven. With passion, you can't go wrong. And having the talent that's excited to do that, was very rare in our case. I mean, it doesn't come along every day. I wanted to make a movie that I've been longing to watch, but never could because I just haven't seen it yet. I can let my daughters watch this mm. and then say, so cool. this strong black women. Mm. Not just, just <laughs> elegant looking, kicking ass. You can do it all. You can do whatever you want to do in life, mm -hmm. you know? And that's a great thing to look up to. I can, I can convey that to my daughters. So thank you very much. Well, I'm just closing up the shop. Well, I'm wearing sweatpants. Of course I'm wearing sweatpants. What else would I wear? You're, no. Nah, nothing too crazy. How about you? How's the hotel? 